Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through types of SDD. So basically, there are two types of SDD. The first one is S attributed and L attributed, guys. So S attributed SDD or S attributed definition or S attributed grammar. Similarly, L attributed SDD or L attributed definition or L attributed grammar. So just by observing the names itself, you can identify, guys. So S attributed is nothing but it uses only synthesized attribute. So if you recall, synthesized attribute are nothing but the children attribute so basically it completely depends on children okay similarly l attribute is a nothing but it depends both on synthesized and inherited so it is a combination but there is a restriction in inherited that it can take only the leftmost siblings guys okay so it can take only the left siblings only okay so if you take a grammar example a implies b c d so here a value can depend on b c d or any kind of combination whereas here if a implies x y z if you are calculating for y it can depend on a it can depend on x it can depend on a x combinations sorry but it cannot depend on y so that is nothing but the L, L attributed guys okay similarly semantic actions are always placed at the rightmost end of the production also called as a post fix SDD so basically if there is a production A implies XYZ print test so this print test can be placed only at the rightmost end guys it cannot be placed in between XY whereas in L, L attributed semantic actions are placed anywhere on the LHS sorry anywhere on the RHS not on not in LHS so you cannot place it in the left hand side but on RHS you can place it anywhere okay so a implies x print something x y z okay so in that way okay so attributes are evaluated in a bottom-up parser and attributes are evaluated in the depth first search that is nothing but left to right order that is nothing but top down parsing guys okay so this is the difference between the s attributed and l attributed okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture we will be going through an algorithm for attribute com computation so the evaluation which we'll be using is nothing but dependency graph and its evaluation order guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about it okay thank you thanks for watching